gonna play this game that I played when I was I was born in 2009. I played this game when I was probably four. I did normal. I I rem I played this game when I was like four or five, and I don't remember nothing. I don't know what the hell's going on. Open up on seven. Seven, imagine. He didn't say seven. Move it out, Shiv. Oh, oh yeah. Hero, huh? Identifying prisoner one one seven. Shiv Helix. You think you can break me, copper? Yeah, I've been in the darkest pits in the universe. Places that would make your vaults rattle. The eternity pits of sword doom. The iron holding no balance. <laughs> The heck? Greetings, new fish. I'm Captain Quark. I I don't believe it. You're here. I used to dream of being arrested by you. Now get out of here. I was talking to you, Zed. Yes, Captain. So, new fish, I take it you followed my many, many adventures? Of course I have. You're the most famous superhero in the galaxy. He ain't famous anymore. <laughs> Words hurt, solitary Bill. I'm a huge fan. I even pre-ordered the new Ratchet and Clank Hollow game. The what? You know, the game based on that incident with you and that Lombax. Oh, you must mean the Hollow film. Yeah, it's pretty good. If you like all CG. No, I mean the game. It's based on the Hollow film. Look, here's my confirmation email. I'm having it mag shipped to prison. <laughs> They're making a game based on the Hollow film based on my life? But they haven't even consulted me. Oh, this is my fault. I've been away from my adoring public in this forsaken place too long. And now, no one will ever hear my side. I don't know what's I'm going on. Your side, Captain. You would? Well, then sit down, wary criminal, and I'll tell you a story. It all started with a hapless Lombax named Ratchet. Am I supposed to know what the heck's going on? Uh... Who's that? Oh, Where do you think you're going? Hey, Grim, you're here. I I thought you'd be down at the bazaar shopping for gravity coils. Uh huh. Well, I'm here. I'm always here. I don't suppose you sneaking out would have anything to do with those Galactic Ranger tryouts? I just need one hour. Come on, Grim. These are the Galactic Rangers we're talking about. Captain Quark will be there. No leaving the garage until you help fix Mr. Micron's ship. Now get on that boat, Crank. Does that ship look mag lifted to you? Get on that boat, Crank. Come on. Come on, give it a spin. Okay, let's see if these new Versa bulbs work. Look up. You see something flashing? Yeah. Left side looks good. It's a miracle. On to the afterburner. Oh, left afterburner light checks out. This thing might just be space worthy after all. One more to the right. Oh, right afterburner works. So, are we good? Yep, we're good. The news says the tryouts are being held at the fairgrounds. Show them what you got, kid. And so Rocket began his adventure, hoping to become a Galactic Ranger. Die. <laughs>
cool. Oh! Oh, where's it? Die. Like, collect something. Oh! Oh, this is like Lego! In order to best his foes, Ratchet used the warrior's time honor tradition of jumping. They're jumping. I like this game. Can I go up here? Eh. I give up. Die. You're literally dog water. displayed a flagrant disregard for public property. Look at him smashing crates. <laughs> the hubris. Maybe he's just saving up bolts so he can buy a new weapon to protect the galaxy with. Hey, who's telling the story here? <laughs> Enemies vanquished. Ratchet forged ahead. His destination? Destiny. I don't know what's going on. I am pressing square to kill people. Can I go in here? Please? Okay. There's probably cheat codes in this. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing actually. Hello, recruit. Cora Verilux here. Show us how quick you can be on your feet by jumping over these obstacles. Good work. Now keep moving to the next part of the course. A good ranger is always mindful of their sur I died. How do you die? How do you die like that? A good ranger is always mindful of their surroundings. Hop across these moving platforms. Good job. Go, dude. You could be the recruit we've been looking for. Keep moving to the next part of the course. Hey there, recruit. I'm Frax Lectris, and my specialty is brute force. Let's see how well you can bash these cr- Hey, that was pretty good. Keep moving. It's time to get our hands on some firepower. You won't regret it. Go ahead and grab a fusion grenade glove from this gadget rod vendor. Awesome. Next step, blow stuff up. Yeet. The Solana Galaxy is a perilous place, as evidenced by the large amounts of ammunition left sitting around in crates. Oh, that's... Impressive. 
Could we be looking at Solana's next Galactic Ranger? Another one down! Excellent job, Cadet. Come see me after the show. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Collection. Big Al here. You've just collected your first holo card. You can earn single holo cards by defeating enemies, or you can explore secret areas to find packs of three. Your goal is to complete a whole set of holo cards. Oh, I open it. What the heck is that? That sub card. Ooh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. I want that. Can I get that? I mean, this gun's perfectly fine, but... Captain Quirk. This defect knew that his best chance for survival lay with the facility's ventilation system. If he just went to the vent, <coughs> he might just make it out of there alive. I know you will find the defect. You never disappoint. Feeble Deepak knew that if he were to survive, he would have to throw a bomb at whatever lay in his path. The young Deepak spotted a springbok ahead of him and knew that with this handy device in his arsenal, he could now defeat the deadliest of forces, gravity. 
The hopeless defects had to throw a spring bot. But where? And how? Scrap! Get back here and let's settle this! Warbot to Warbot! Haha! <laughs> Suddenly, the defect spotted a power bot. This device could power up a variety of machines, but where should he throw it? <laughs> You're like really good at adding drama, man. Thank you, Shiv. I pride myself on my penchant for storytelling. What seems to be the problem, Victor? You won't get away from me, Chairman. I've got a right for one. Dad, I didn't work too good. Suddenly, the defect spotted a power bot. This device could power up a variety of machines, but where should he throw it? You're like really good at adding drama, man. Thank you, Shiv. I pride myself on my penchant for storytelling. What seems to be the problem, Victor? You won't get away from me, Chairman. I've got a right where I want. went straight into the freaking bomb slide or something I fell off the freaking edge <laughs> run 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 you think you can run from me not that route again Here, you miserable defect. Did not Sorry, hit me. I'm, I'm going 
gonna rip you apart. Sprocket by sprocket. Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Well, that, was that wasn't supposed to hit me. You think you can run from me? Not that brute again. This is hard. I need to not take damage like that. So stupid. Get back here, you miserable defect. Wait, what? Try out running this. Hit the lava. I'm going to rip you apart. Sprocket by sprocket. That did not hit me. Ha! Your dog water. Why is it a block scene? What? Is it because it's a cutscene? It's a cutscene right now, I'm not actually playing, so that's maybe why. There's no way I don't get struck by lightning. I'm in a cutscene, that's why you can't. So that's Ratchet saying that, he's just sitting there looking at the moon and looking at the galaxies and stuff. Then there's a spaceship that's coming down and it just crash landed somewhere not that far away from Ratchet and Ratchet took his bis like his spaceship bicycle thing and he s finds the thing and he's and he opened it And he places down the tiny robot that we used to play. Huh? Ratchet and Clank? Yeah. A million thoughts raced through Ratchet's head. Could he repair this diminutive war box? Would it be the key to the adventure he craved? Did he leave the proto engine on in the garage? The answer to all these questions was yes. All right, hang on. I'll get us back to the garage. Large gaps were child's play to Ratchet. All he would need to get across is a trusty swing shot and a little bravado. Fortunately for our furry hero, a conveniently placed crate provided Ratchet with a combustible. Ratchet with a combustor.
Come on, grab the combustor. It's right here. Nice! A combustor! Ratchet basked in the freedom of being able to switch weapons whenever he felt like it. Perhaps you could shoot. Impressive shooting. to your planet so he could get it back. Grim, listen to me. I want you to lock the garage doors and then head down into the shelter. I'll be there as soon as I can. Copy that, Ratchet. <laughs> Ratchet was in a bad way. <laughs> Confused and alone. He scoured the Kizzle Plateau for signs of nanotech. Oh boy, out of ammo. That's all of them. Grim's garage. Grim, are you okay? I'm fine, kid, but I ain't opening up until the coast is clear. Uh, I really just did that. I really just frickin' did that.
Okay. I think I'm gonna end the episode soon. I'm really not feeling like this game is very fun. Yeet! <gasps> Jackson! I have to go. Really? Join so we can talk for a little bit, but yeah, I think we get a haircut. Yeah, do you know I what know Ratchet and Clank is? Yeah, the game? I It's I free! Play? No, it's not. Yes, it is! If you have PlayStation Plus, it's free. Oh, uh, mine expired. Oh, that sucks. I'm playing it right now and I'm streaming. You're streaming? Yeah. Stream? Say hi to my five people. Have screen. Yeah. I'm about to be there. in drop shot. What's that? The game mode, the extra game mode. Oh, I'll get on. Bye, stream. <laughs>